Hello guys, this is Max, and for the last five days, my dad's old school friend, Barry Hoo Hoo, let us stay at his marae. Now, a marae is a traditional New Zealand Maori greeting house where a bunch of cultural Maoris would come together and meet in a marae and would have meetings and discuss what was going on. And I just kind of wanted to show you what it was like here. Now, he did rent it out for us, so no one else was here. But it was definitely cool to stay here. Now, um, right now, I am by the Fuddy. Now, the Fuddy is, uh, means house. And this is where we slept. And all the pictures and designs and drawings and carvings are pretty much all original. Now when you come in here, it is a little messy, but you can see the walls have all different cool designs and there's these creatures. Now, if you look closely at every single like picture here, um, the men are on the left. Now this is because the men can hold the woman with their left hand and then protect them with their right. And back then, um, uh, like being left-handed wasn't really normal, so yeah. And all the pictures on the wall are um, people who have passed away and their family culture was part of the Mori. Uh Now I'm going to show you guys the Fuddy Kai, which means food house. Um, and here's where we eat our foods, have our meals, um, have blessings, had our recreational time. Um, there's like big open space and tables. Um, this is like the kitchen area. And in New Zealand, most families go on a camping trip once a year. And this trip was considered their camping trip. So when they're on a camping trip, they take turns doing dishes, kids. So we all took turns doing dishes, except this morning, the kids made pancakes, so the parents had to do the dishes. And we all laughed at them. Uh, next, um, I, I mean, I don't really have to show you it, but there was also the, um, yeah, the Fuddy Paku, which was the um, poop house. Uh, and the final part was, oh, I've got a real good story. Um, if you can see that rock there, um, the story behind this rock was um, a guy was running and he jumped over the fence and his um, testicles fell out and landed where that rock is and so if women want to get pregnant they sit on the rock that is a very disturbing story but I had to say um, the, the last part will probably be the beach so I'm just walking down here now there's the ocean um, while we were here um, Cody uh, set out a long line like what was it, Cody? Five times? Cody, did you put out the long line five times? Yeah, put out the long line five times, which is a fishing rod, but it goes way further and it holds 25 hooks. Um, and so technically, he, we, so far we've caught two snappers, an eel, and three stingray. And I thought that that was real cool. Um, we have the long line out one more time. If you look closely and you can see that like stick thing up there, that is the long line. Now, if I can just open this gate and we can come down here. Uh, this is the beach. This is where we spend a lot of our, yeah, like we did quite a bit here. We swam, we boogie board, and we did a lot of fun stuff. We played cricket. Um, and yeah, this place was, a big part and it was fun now there is 
one more thing I guess I could show you. Um, or talk to you about. So, um, to be able to get into a marae, you have to be welcomed by the people of the marae. And we got welcomed. And it was a real cool experience because they, um, Barry was talking in Maori and my dad's friend's son, Aiden, was just talking to in Maori. And then after we did a hangi, which is like you go nose to nose with them. And it was, it was a real neat experience. If you, if you want to see the welcoming, you can check out my other video. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much for the Maraya. Yeah, it's pretty much for the Mariah. And um, thank you for watching. Bye. Sure, what? Pardon? Thanks. Yeah? Oh, cool. And now we're going to bring in the long line and let's hope we get some fish. Bye.